All right, everyone. It is me, <clears throat> Johnson Chan, and uh, my fucking call is just, you know, starting to peak. Now that we're all saying peak. Of course, my paranoia is, is a coronavirus. That's obviously the first thing I think of. And so far, so good. Obviously, the most uh, problematic uh, issue is, do I have a fever? You know, and luckily, the answer is no. Now, funny enough, I wound up having a lot of energy for some reason yesterday. Maybe I guess it's because I took in a little bit of too much energy as I was, uh, you know, eating yesterday. Um, because uh, I decided to try eating uh, some of those Tyson buffalo wing things too. So even though I had plenty of time to digest, I guess I still took in too many calories for the day, just a slightly. I think I still came in at like sixteen fifty to seventeen hundred calories. And I burn 1852 a day, so, you know, you know, I take whatever gains I can get. But in the meantime, I might be coughing and hacking. Uh, I woke up uh, kind of late anyway, uh, so, so I'm still checking stuff. Uh, for the most part, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> for the most part, you know, my phlegm is pretty clear. And when I typed in coronavirus phlegm, basically nothing actually comes up. The closest thing I got was... A Mount Sinai Hospital, which is a pretty famous, very good hospital here in New York City. I think it's located in Manhattan. Mount Sinai Hospital. Yeah, it's in New York City. Um, for uh, whatever the hell this is, this, this is so, this is like the fancy area of Manhattan, though. Very, very, very prestigious hospital. Like. Like, if I had to go to a hospital I'm in Manhattan, I, I would be very more than happy to be, you know, chilling at Mount Sinai Hospital. <coughs> yeah, I start practicing coughing like this and not on my hand. Even though I'm self-isolated, so it's, it's not too big of a deal. Ugh. But, uh, what should I call it? Then I noticed after I woke up, I was getting a little bit of a chest pain. Right, and I started getting scared. It's like, oh my god, it's a coronavirus, it's a coronavirus. So I was like, no, it's because I just woke up in the morning and when I sleep, my body doesn't really shift all that much. So, you know, you just get natural uh, muscle body aches from, you know, not moving while you're sleeping. Just, you're asleep. <clears throat> oh, god, so I guess this whole video is going to be like this. I still have some vitamin C tablet chewables to try to help tidy me over. And it's not a good idea to take my cough suppression stuff because it actually makes my symptoms of the cold worse and prolongs the prolongs the pain so obviously i'm not going to do that uh and it's not unless i feel i need to so uh yeah but now you know i'm breathing normally i'm not even thinking about it you know now my chest is like oh okay you know it's just whatever you know no, nothing wrong and so obviously i'm getting lucky i'm still curious how do i get the cold i barely go out all right, and I just figure it has to be my compromised immune system. It's like, it's annoying. So anyway, I do want to like go over a bunch of things today uh, as well. <clears throat> uh, Tweets and replies. So we're gonna have some good stuff. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? All right, I guess we'll start with, we'll start with this. Um, we're definitely gonna talk about Steam as well because Steam apparently is now forking, and that's why this shit's skyrocketing, so we'll have to see. Uh, all right, we'll go over that. Uh, some old stuff. Where's my reply? I had some replies here. No need to hoard food. This is actually pretty important, because when I went to Target yesterday, that shit was empty, because people are fucking hoarding. It's actually kind of annoying. But anyway, they've got plenty of food out there. They just have to restock the shelves. That's all it is. <coughs> now my throat's being uh now my throat's being agitated so uh let's see yeah tweet with replies where the fuck is my casey <coughs> great now the chewables are starting to irritate my throat mm. ah. all right uh casey trying Casey Tron. Maybe old. Steam Games, Coronavirus, Death Now. Uh, oh, here it is. Oh, wow, this was actually a lot slower than I thought. 
apologize anyone. So anyway, Casey Tron is, you know, like a small-ish streamer on Twitch. I think she was dating Chance, so it poppin. Uh, then she got permanently banned on Twitch because she went on, like, some talk show with all the, like, other e thoughts on Twitch. You know, 12 of them. And then they were talking about coronavirus, and then Casey Tron, I guess, tried to make a very uh, ill and, um, what's the word? Ill-mannered? There's a, there's a term. Yes, it was ill, Ill received, but it's ill mannered. Um, I don't know. I, see, I was thinking about it this morning too. I was lying on my bed thinking about what I was gonna. Uh, oh well, but basically, it was a very, very ill mannered joke. It basically said, uh, you know, she was hoping that old and poor people would die from coronavirus or something like that. And of course, everybody in the talk shows or as they should have you know where it's like you can't like that's horrible you should not say that blah 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 and then twitch uh, actually agreed and there's permanently banned her ass uh you know it's a real shame because she used to be kind of fat and then now she's actually quite a like, quite a good looking babe and then you know well you know so you now twitch is you see twitch probably was like you know everyone's bitching out about alinity and how we let her slide so we can't do that so let's just perma ban casey tron <laughs> And then there's, and then and then there's that, right? And then um, also she doesn't really make a lot of money for Twitch, so because uh, she only had like what twelve, thirteen hundred live viewers at any time, which is still a lot, but to Twitch that's like nothing. And then uh, yeah, so you know, so now she'll have to find a new home. And has she even updated her thing yet? <clears throat> nope, she's not. Uh, so here's her thing: insensitive joke. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, indefinite suspension. Uh, she... That's not really a mask. Um, oh, yeah. Here's another <laughs> e-thought. Resurrect... Oh, wait. Wait, she actually got... Uh, I wasn't aware she was... Whatchamacallit? Banned. Maybe you're not falling asleep right now because you won't get off your phone. Ever think about that? Straight men who don't. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, if you pour a what credit, I can say that, but uh, who can still support her or missing the frontal lobe of their brain. Ah, so she still does not like Trump people. All right. Well, what can I say? I mean, we warned you. Oh, yeah, and that's uh, why I'm here. Because this was my reply. Um. Another victim of Silicon Valley censorship, deployment, and lack of forgiveness. Us conservatives tried to warn you about this, and now there's no one left to fight it. So I had a bunch of assholes, uh, you know, I have to, and of course I still have more assholes. So basically I reported it, they're all fake accounts. I don't really give a shit. But anyway, they're like, oh, you know, it didn't even, their responses made no sense. They just saw, oh, neocon conservative. And I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's it's clearly a bot. Right? They just talk like an actual bot. I don't even actually think real, like maybe far left liberals. But the problem is, if they were far left liberals, they would have used their real accounts. And even some left leaning people did actually like what I have to say. There's actually someone missing here. It says four legs, but we're missing one. So I, I don't know. Uh, or maybe these assholes that were spamming also hit the like button for some reason, and that's being hidden. But, uh, yeah, well, like I said, everyone gets what they deserve, and, uh, well, oops. So, will she reconsider her, uh, shit-lib far-left ways? Maybe. I kind of maybe doubt it, but you never know. You never know. You never know. All right, <clears throat> so there's that. And, yeah, and it just goes to show, uh, hold on. Hold on, not... Uh, hold on. Oh my God, my. Uh, I really wish this flint would go away. All right, <clears throat> let's get into the good stuff. So, uh, Sinji actually uh, w was talking to me about uh, you know MRL. He lost fifty cents a share, and here's a reply. And then uh, I guess sometime yesterday. He actually found. Oh my God! This better not be my family member, because. Oh my God! Hold on. I'm... Stop bothering me. 
doing video now. Jeez. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm watching Rebel go down as we speak. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, he found like another like MRL. This one is a shoot by Credit Susie. Uh, he says, "Yep, doing video now. Probably doing nothing as blah 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 blah." Ugh. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so. Uh, what should we call it? Anyway, long story short, where is my... Wait a minute, where the hell is the... Okay, I responded to him with the link to the... Uh, oh my god, what is YouTube... What is YouTube doing? Arkit's tech that recovers a bit. Actually, you know what, let me check my things, because this is actually really important. Um, because I actually, because he had a link to the Reddit thing. Now I can't find it because I thought it was on this fucking video. Uh, okay, it's not this one. It has to be this one. Well, it's not being censored. It's just we can't find it. <clears throat> oh, great. I actually spent a lot of time doing research. Oh, well, anyway, he linked to a something. He linked to something uh, where... No. Oh, oh my god. Now, now we don't actually have it. Like, I don't know where it went. But basically, I responded back to him saying I looked at it, and then I found out about the prospectus. Okay, now I'm actually kind of annoyed. Where did it go? Where is it? It's got to be one of these. For comments, comments I responded to. <clears throat> Watching as we speak. Oh, wait, it is in the same one. Wait, is it? No. Because he linked to a Reddit thread that talked about it. All right, now, oh my god, now we can't find this shit. Anyway, there, uh, I responded back to him. There was a Reddit thread he linked to. So they talked about Rebel, and then I looked at the uh, Credit Susie Rebel stock. Uh, just go away. Just go away. All right. Anyway, I didn't say that, but I was like, all right, I just don't have time. So anyway, I looked it up. The Credit Susie Rebel thing is actually uh, bad because uh, they don't have a mandatory redemption clause, but Credit Susie does actually have it. They just call it a call right. So we're just going to do it real quick. I told him to check Reddit to make sure that, you know, you let them know that it's not a good idea. And here, there's the link. So Remel Credit Susie. So the answer is I am not buying this. Uh, you know, I'm perfectly happy that the markets are kind of going back up today a little bit. So it's kind of, so this could be the bottom. This could be the bottom because yesterday it was bad, but not as bad as I expected. And then today it's kind of like a neutral thing. So things do look different, but it's still too hard to tell. <coughs> so, <clears throat> see, that's the nice thing about living alone because I could just do that. I don't have to worry. Anyway, uh, it it was very stable for a long time, right? It was at like twenty, like up a little under thirty bucks this entire time. So it looks like oh, low risk, you know, high. Uh, we get less paid less, but lower risk, right? Well, that's bullshit because as we soon see here. Oh my god. Prospectus. Jeez. As we see in the prospectus right here, I'll we'll show you page three. Our call right. And then I'm not going to read the whole thing, but basically it says on any business day through including maturity date, so basically between now and the end of this thing in what, 2039, we may add our option call all, but not less than all of the issued and outstanding ETNs. To exercise our call right, we must provide notice to holders of the ETN called call notice not less than 16 calendar days prior to the call settlement date. Prior our call event, we exercise this right. You will receive a cash payment equal to the cash settlement amount, which will be paid on the third business day following the call valuation day called the call settlement date. So basically, they can do exactly what UBS is now doing. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, well, now I can't use this to uh, wipe my face with, so... 
So it's it's all bullshit. Yeah. So uh, credit Susie now that the stock is let's see Remmel. Now that the stock is tank, like there's a reason why it's tanking because everyone's assuming that they're going to be doing this shit. So uh, my personal recommendation is do not buy it because uh, I don't trust I don't trust these assholes anymore because obviously we know what they're what they're going to do. They're just going to scam you all. And just like I got scanned with MRRL. So I'm like, all right, just, you know, fuck you then, you know? So, you know. Uh, so basically, stocks really are a scam. I may reconsider, though, because this time around, I'm actually buying real stocks, right? Because RF is actually doing really well right now. 56 cents. Uh, yeah. So basically, it went down a little bit, right? Because the markets went down. Now it's back up to what it was when I basically bought it, right? It was like around 8 bucks or something. Uh... Well, here's the thing. I don't see anything different with the news. I mean, they said there's European ECB uh, uh, recovery. It's really not that. It's just people are just looking kind of like an excuse like, oh, okay, there's a lot of free money, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, what's interesting is they uh, panic fears lead to panic buying. Yes, that's what always happens. That's why my fucking target is empty, right? It's getting annoying. So I'm hoping maybe next week it'll be better because everyone that's hoarding now will eventually run out of space in the fridge. Because I actually have a pretty full fridge, so but I'm still trying to top up because who knows? I might need to actually have a month's supply worth of food. Yeah, I have enough capacity for about three weeks with the stuff I'm buying. So uh so anyway uh you know bank of england europe's doing their stimulus version package stuff like we already did you know this one says amazon microsoft are leading the way i'm actually curious what is the price of target and costco target corporate because they have to be going up uh that's really not a lot let's let's just do one month yeah they're not really going up that much during this crisis all right but they're also not going down because obviously you know Supply chain stuff that's doing full full on money making. Yeah, that'll do well. Uh, but uh, going forward, uh, I don't know. We'll see in like 2024 when I decide to dump all my stocks if I want to continue doing that. Right? Because at that point, my RF. Sh I'm assuming these guys don't reverse split and fuck me. All right. And so far, it looks like that risk for now is kind of low. All right. We're still actually at the 33% correction range. Um, because if it weren't for coronavirus, nothing would be, nothing bad would be going on, right? Money is liquid and t uh, money is liquid, but it's tight enough so that like we don't repeat two thousand eight, two thousand nine, and we have enough regulations that you know nothing crazy happens, right? You know, and again, the only thing that will hurt us is black swan events, right? Remember, nine eleven did cause damage, but people also forget the dot com bust occurred right before. That was the boom and bust. Here, this was actually driven by fundamentals. So there's no reason to bust, right? Because it legitimately is worth that much. And then coronavirus hits and fundamentals are still in play because now nobody is able to make money. That's why it goes down a lot. And that, and then, you know, then you let the emotions play out. Uh, so anyway, I, uh, I already did Remmel. Uh, I would steer, steer away from it. I'm not putting anything in here because again, they don't have mandatory redemption. They have it's it's just called call right, which is the exact same thing. Now, will Kurt Susie be noble and not do it? That would be the ideal, but I am personally not willing to gamble, right? Uh, and it looks like investors are not willing to gamble either. That's where they're dumping the stock because they're assuming that's what Credit Susie is going to do. And what does every globalist asshole uh, corporation and bank do, uh, do? Yeah, they fuck you and me in the ass without our consent, and then they save themselves, right? But I'm hoping this time at least we'll get our Trump bucks, right? Uh, but yeah, RF, pretty good, you know. Uh, high, they're they're very stable. Uh, you know, they're an actual they're actually they're an actual regional bank with uh, a few billion in market cap. Once things go back to normal, they'll be back to like eight to twelve billion market cap. Uh, <clears throat> they pay good dividends, and they obviously know how to loan out money properly. So that's why they're not getting hammered. Uh, with that being said, if the markets you know, if we do get, you know, Dow heading to like, you know, 66% correction territory, and then we become a bear market uh, or recession, at least thereafter, well, then, yeah, RF is going to drop below five bucks, and then I have to worry about reverse stock split. So for now, I'm just not going to do anything. I mean, I kind of want to buy something, but I mean, at this point, I kind of just want to get, get this over with. 
Uh, so that's the markets. Uh, we'll we'll take a look at it again uh, in a sec if we have to. Okay, now I got my running nose. Yeah, I mean this would go a lot better if I wasn't sick, but you know, you know what? I'm counting my blessings because so far it's the common cold. All right, I have no symptoms of the flu, which is scary because it could be coronavirus because they have very similar symptoms. And then, of course, the most important thing is I don't have coronavirus because I'm actually kind of concerned about it. like I have two worries: one, being Chinese and walking around the street because I have to buy essentials and I don't want racist people like beating my ass up. And then number two, I have to actually worry about coronavirus. All right. Uh, I did forget to mention that Nick, I was watching Nick Fuentes yesterday. And he actually brought up a lot of good points. He said this is, will be the death knell of globalism. All right. That's why everyone uh, is kind of like bitching at Trump about the Chinese virus and the Wuhan virus. And I kind of get that, right? Because, yeah, you know, I'm a little worried about people stigma stigmatizing uh, us Asian slash Chinese people. But the flip side is they're not doing it because they actually care about us. They're just doing it because they want to hurt Trump, right? You know, I just happen to get some kind of benefit out of their virtue signaling, right? It's not honest at all, right? So, and you know how you know how I am about honesty, all right? If you're going to be a stupid fucking asshole, you know, at least be honest about it. That's why I would be willing to have, say, someone like Tariq Nasheed on my show once I get famous, but maybe certain people from the fake right, right? I've already mentioned their names many times. Right, because I feel one is going to be honest about being a prick, and the others are just liars, and I just cannot have liars because liars are much more dangerous than honest people. Right, that's why God doesn't like liars, along with Jesus Christ, I assume. Oh, that's oh, that's the funny thing is, just as I say that, I get an ad for Jesus Christ uh, King James Bible study. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like these Google ads, they like literally know like like everything about you. There's like no escape from Google's Skynet. All right, anyway, uh, he said that the reason why this is different from 2008, 2009, and maybe even the dot-com bubble is because it's a soft it's a soft effect on you. you. Like, you have all these abstract things, and it's like, well, okay, deficits, the debt, you know, my money's a little, is worth less, and, you know, it's like, eh, it's like, it's very vague, right? You don't, you know, it's like you feel it, but you really don't. The coronavirus is different because this thing directly has a negative impact on you. And he didn't say this, but I'll add on to what Nick Fuentes says. It's not only a direct impact on you and me, but it's constantly pissing you off and di directly affecting you and me. The fact, like, when I went to Target yesterday and I got like, whatever scraps were left in the frozen chicken aisle, because it was empty, I, I didn't want to take a picture, even though I wanted to, because... There are people around me just also, they weren't angry, but they were like, oh, where, where's all the food? And then like some nice black lady like had her son, I assume it's her son. Uh, where's, uh, where's all the chicken? Where's all the food? And it's like, oh, well, it's, it was really sad. It's like, yeah, where's the food, man? It's like, see, it, that, that constantly is in your face. Right? So you're going to be like, okay, this came from coronavirus. We have coronavirus because we outsource everything to China. Why do we outsource everything to China? Oh, globalism, right? What are the globalists going to say now? It's like, we had no food, all right? I got sick. I lost my job. I lost the, I can't get paid. I might get evicted. My loved one might have died. My loved one did die, you know? I got sick. It's like, it's constantly in your face. Everyone's getting mad. It's like, yeah, um... I did have a tweet about it, actually. Uh, I mean, today's going to be a pretty long video because we have a lot to cover, but uh, I also have to now make a decision because it does look like things are starting to finally level off a little bit. So, And, of course, Trump is doing the correct thing. Uh, let's hope this works. Of course, if this doesn't work. I really hate Twitter sometimes. All right, let's see if this will work. All right, death. No. Oh, my God. Uh... Let's see, March 17th. So I know I had to have said it after this. Oh yeah, we're getting a medical verdict. How cool is that? New York City's got our own medical verdict. Apparently though, it's gonna take a few weeks to uh, get it. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 no, that's what's wrong. Where are you? Maybe it really is uh, further down. Just school shooters. Oh yeah, R.C. Maxwell accused 
J- Jada McNeil of being a school shooter because he's white and young and in college. Very racist. Very, very racist. Or rather, I know Jesse says no one such as racist. I, I still, it's still a very convenient tag. So I'll just say Rusty Maxwell has judged uh, Jada McNeil because he's white and he has therefore judged all white people. And it's very evil what R.C. Maxwell did. So, uh, I really wish we could just use a, our own word for that. Maybe I'll, I mean, if I wasn't sick right now, a little pressed for time, maybe I could come up with a thing. And, of course, Dan Crenshaw is just going all out for the billionaires. You know, I tweeted that out. Or I'll let you read it. All right. uh, death knell of liberalism. Uh, okay, now i got to scratch my nose. Or actually, uh, uh, by the way, I'm actually. I think I might have actually sent this to my game because I actually realized. Yeah, my like if you have a fleet in space, you probably do need a medical frigate. So when I commission eventually the artwork for you know the Americans uh, medical frigate in space, I may consider you know an all white thing. The problem is you're at war, so maybe you don't want that to be obvious. You actually want it to be darker, so like. You blend in with space, so I have to actually think about that. I also have to look up how med- uh, hospitals and the Navy operate their medical stuff, too. So it would be, be kind of like a cool thing. Uh, Target was practically empty. Uh, oh, it's got a surprisingly a large amount of something. Oh, I also forgot to show, but my Casey Tron reply got a lot of, uh, a lot of activity, so... All right, I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't dig back in and find it. But basically, yeah, uh, it was a tweet that just summarized what I said. But this will be the end of globalism, at the very least. Uh, you know, it's going to cause a lot of damage to globalism, and that's. And then Nick Fuentes said that is the real reason why they're hammering Trump on the whole. Like, why do you keep calling it Chinese virus? Why do you keep calling it Wuhan virus? Even though the left, the same fake news terrorist media did the exact same shit just weeks and months ago. So they don't care about you and me, or at least us Asians. They're just using us like uh, slaves, like they've always done. You know, it's very insulting. All right, so, yeah. But anyway, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, I'm actually going to retweet. I do actually want to watch this, but we should probably... Actually, I'll, I'll try to hurry this up, but, um, yeah. So anyway, I where are we at? 27 and a half minutes. Yeah, we have so much to cover, actually. So like Bitcoin's at 58.39, it's up 12%, it's pretty nice. Bitcoin dominance is 64.9%. 24 hour is still pretty low at 136.3 billion, but you know what? I'm more than happy to see this because crypto has been so resilient throughout this whole thing. Like, yeah, it crashed, so did everything else, but now it's going up when... Uh, well, okay, I guess everything's going up. All right, whatever. I don't care at this point. I just want this to be over with, all right? I want to be able to go to my Target and get my fucking shit because... As nice as it was, I was able to get some kind of food. It was much more expensive. I got a lot less of it because it's only 22 ounces instead of the typical 28 ounces from the Good and Gather Target brand or whatever. More importantly, I'm still trying to slim down. I need specific healthy high protein food so I can fill my body, fuel it, but then have a calorie deficit so I can continue losing weight. Right? The reason why I have a cold is because my immune system is compromised. From chronic inflammation and i have that because i'm fat right you know i'm like getting better obviously 170 i must be under 172 i'm not at the 170 to 172 range but it's going to take time and it's just frustrating you know so yeah you know even though i'm chinese i'm starting to get kind of mad at china now because they not only knew about it but they lied about it they let it happen for three weeks, and then they by saying, "Oh, it's not. There's no person-to-person transmission. No evidence of that." Well, that clearly was a lie, and now we're all fucked, right? And I have double fucked because I'm Chinese. So now people want to blame me because they're associated with China, right? Most people are pretty nice not doing that, but a lot of it's probably crossing their minds. That's why we still have, you know, violence against us, right? But luckily, the New York City Police Department recently busted the piece of shit that beat up the Asian guy. What's interesting is after they arrested him, they just gave him a you know a ticket and tell him you better appear in court. So then they let him go. So I assume when it comes to racial stuff, they just tell him, hey, don't do that. You know. So I assume they talk to them because uh, they wouldn't let. Well, I mean, maybe they let a violent person out, but I really kind of doubt it. Like the near the NYPD kind of as 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 restricted as they are by Bill De Blasio, they still are able to do mostly their jobs. So 
Yeah. So 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 now I'm getting even angrier at China, right? The Communist Party of China, right? It's like you know, you, you stupid fucks, right? And they obviously just don't believe in karma, even though they should, because that's where it came from, or at least a big part of it. And it's like, yeah, you're gonna get what you deserve, right? And I'm gonna have to deal with the fallout with that, and then it'll start a chain reaction, right? We'll retaliate against China in one form or another. China will, of course uh uh retaliate to and then uh i think trump will try to do his best to kind of balance things out because we're trying to do a trade deal and then uh we'll decouple from china or at least the world will begin to do that and then after that people will still be pretty angry about coronavirus so because we're all affected by it. every single person i know killing you and me we've been affected i'm personally affected already i'm still technically affected by it and it's starting to get annoying right again i try not to be angry and judgmental right that's the christian way as jesse lee peterson would say oh that rhymes but you know it's uh someone has to be held accountable and they will so uh yeah so globalism uh will definitely be having problems and then now like i see casey tron like who's pretty much uh i would say she's kind of a center left wing cunt right based on the way she uh, seems to be behaving but it seems like she could eventually be reasoned with especially now that she's been banned permanently from twitch maybe she'll actually have something also i do suspect she probably did read my comment because most people were reading my comments and of course she didn't react to it so now she has to think about it too oh yeah you can totally tell i would totally bag her so but i mean the problem is she would ha i would have to have her go through so many hoops and it may not even be doable uh god I really want this cold to go away. I want the cold to go away, yes, because of the discomfort, but because I just don't want to be thinking that, do I have coronavirus? Do I have coronavirus? Right? I can't ignore the threat of that. Litecoin, 3636, 8.91, skyrocketing. So at least cryptocurrency is finally some kind of breath of fresh air. Thank God. Uh, Dogcoin, 212.4 million market cap, also doing pretty much the same thing. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, the markets are skyrocketing uh oh here we go uh let's see rebel is also increasing a little bit so rebel could be a good gamble i'm still not going to do it but you might want to gamble on it if you think credit Suisse is not going to be an asshole and re basically redeem this now actually if they do redeem it, anything recovers they're going to uh, credit Suisse is going to pay out a lot of money because they it does it does say it's based on the cash settlement based on the previous you know five, uh i didn't read the, that part but it's usually the previous trading days um so yeah that could work and then of course with skyrock damn now i'm thinking do i really want to gamble one last time uh you know what hmm. wow i could barely burp that out you know what <sighs> i really hate this what do i really do what do i really do you know, even though I have the money, I think I'll just pass. Even though if it turns, if the gamble works out, it'll go back to twenty-seven bucks, and that's like a ten. That's like a ten to 15, 18x return. Uh, it won't get, it won't get me back the thirty-five grand that I lost, but it does contribute a nice amount. You know what? Oh wow, Rebel just shot up six point five percent. Son of bitch. I'm gonna. I, I know it. I'm. I'm probably gonna be gambling, aren't I? I'm probably gonna be gambling. Because uh, we need this thing to be above the five dollar mark. That seems to be for some reason the part that makes everybody nervous. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Dow was up. How much was the Dow down yesterday? That will inform my decision. Uh, today is Thursday, right? Uh. 2,003.8. We're already recovering. I don't know. Do I really think this is dead cat bounce? I don't think so. Because we're... If I put in 1750 in uh, Remel, and it goes up 18x. Basically, it goes back to what it was before this chaos started. Uh, Where is Remel? Oh, great. The, Yahoo is having a lot of technical problems right now. It's up 11 cents. It's a uh, Here, I'll show you. I'll show you the one month. 
Uh, yeah, it was 25, 27, and then it progressively got worse because, again, coronavirus. Uh, February 21st, and it started tanking, so yeah. So it normally was worth uh, $28. Yeah, you could see, you could see that unlike MRRL, that was, like, kept going down, this thing is actually really stable. I don't know, how much do I want, and of course, you see, <laughs> you see the big tank. Um, uh, I'm gonna hate myself in the morning. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one last gamble. I'm gonna take one last gamble. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing it is because make sure you guys can see this. The reason why I'm doing it is because today's up day is now matching yesterday's down day. So basically it's flatlining. So this could, that's it. Because basically what was happening, if you remember when I was doing my previous videos, down a lot, then up a bit, then down a lot again, more than before, then up and then back down. Basically dead cat bouncing. Here, this is not a dead cat bounce. It could be a dead cat bounce. Um, again, this is one of the rare terms I use technical analysis. Uh, but... If I lose seventeen fifty from this, eh, I, I, uh, I mean, here's the thing. Like, what are we? Yeah, we're not really seeing anything. How's the coronavirus already threatening the housing market? Uh, this, uh, you know, Donald Trump is all about the housing market because that's what we're all ultimately going to head to. So, you see, Kyle, you put uh, those of us the lever must take swift action. Okay, so yeah. Let's see. Yeah, MRRL is right. See, MRRL is, right, is not recovering because they've already uh, announced the mandatory redemption. Rebel may or may not do it. Uh, shit. See, the MRR also did the same thing yesterday too. It went up, or as when I day I dumped, it went up a lot, and then it kept continuing to tank. Uh, well, let's do the same thing. Hmm. Hmm. Shit, I actually do not know. Okay, all right. I really should not be gambling. Uh, I accept all cookies. To dollar seventy-seven. Let's say it goes up fifteen x twenty-six. Okay, so let's say it goes up sixteen x twenty-eight. Okay, so if I put in seventeen fifty times sixteen, am I willing to gamble seventeen fifty now to gain twenty-eight thousand dollars in potential profit plus the dividends I derive from this? All right, because the gamble is if I buy now, will they do exercise their call right option? Hmm. Well, we all know. I mean, we know today's going to basically be an up day, so we have that going. Uh, Cephal is going up a lot. That's kind of weird. I thought this got the mandatory clause as well. Hmm, MRL. Let's see. I thought they got the mandatory clause as well. Let's see. Mandatory. Uh, three hours ago, UBS announces it. Yeah, it has the mandatory clause. Why is it going up? Hmm. Rimmel. Great. Susie. Announces coupon payments. That's two weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Uh, really, just nothing here. Well, I guess I would have to decide uh, if, well, hmm. Is it? Is it? Fuck. Because I want. I need to make a decision now, actually. Well, I guess I'll just keep going on, but uh, now I might be changing my mind. I might actually buy a Remel. Uh, but the, here's. It's, I still find it suspicious. Why is Cephal going up? That's probably what's creating some, some doubt. Oh, we'll have to see. All right, JMC coins at five to six. It's I actually expect the exacts to go down now, because uh, especially four hundred four coin. Because now that crypto is going back up, the market's going back up, so now everyone's going to be exiting uh, exacts and dumping coins. So let's see, four hundred four is at six to seven. It's not doing too bad uh, for now. Two by two coin was also pretty strong, right? As you can see up here. Oh, also four hundred four coin was as high as nine. 
So uh, two by two is at seventy to seventy three. Yeah, actually, my chest is feeling better. So okay, it's not coronavirus. Thank God. It's it's just the cold. All right. So far. Compound coin is, and I'm getting a running nose. I gotta blow my nose again. Uh, five thousand seventy satoshis to sixty two hundred satoshis of a dog coin. So uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, let's see, let's do a quick peek here. So not too much change. Uh, Biden is still ahead of Trump by about three cents. No, you know, not overly bad. Guards are targeting Sparfos. Okay. Uh, drop power bailouts, buybacks, and cut execs. Uh, so at least Mark Cuban is actually doing the right thing with the buybacks thing. Because we're, so we're all pretty angry about coronavirus. So uh, any piece of shit that's, that's putting a restriction on our fucking Trump bucks slash Yang bucks. Because Yang is actually working directly with Trump in the White House. To get everybody money. Alright, so I totally appreciate that. Uh, now, with that being said, Ripple points payments grew, lead major, exp uh, blah, blah, blah. So that's pretty good. Good fundamentals. Top crypto now. I'm not. I'm going to be ignoring Google News here for because we already covered a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, more fear mongering. Coinbase America's first Bitcoin crypto exchange to offer Visa card in America. CoinZoom, which is based in Utah, which just had an earthquake. Interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna really click it, but that's good because anybody that can like start taking away from the centralized power of big silicon tech, big tech, Coinbase censors people. All right, they ban Laura Loomer. I think they ban Milo. They ban Gab and Andrew Torba personally. Um. They banned, I think, Alex Jones. Yeah, they they banned us. All right, they banned us. I want to start practicing to make sure because if I'm out and about, I make sure I, you know, try to hide my coughs or something. Uh, world secular economy reveals plan accelerate blockchain use tech. So that's good. Uh, this is from Toyota. Very good. Bitmax refunded crypto to the DD. I found a series of coordinated DDoS attacks. Yeah, I guess Bitmax is having a lot of problems. Bitmax. Is it, is it the site that I'm thinking of? Uh, I am not allowed to use this. Okay. It's not. Uh, man, there's a, there was a really expensive UK exchange that works with everybody. I can't remember what it was. Uh, uh, I'll have to ask Mitch again. But they want they want like five Bitcoin, uh, and I'm willing to pay that when I'm like a multi-millionaire. Um, I can't, it starts with a B, I think. All right, Bitmax is finding user where blah 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 blah. Uh, God, I I don't have the energy to attack the feminazis right now. That's I'm just so sick and tired of this shit. Um, okay, I'm just gonna see. Here's the myths, their victim. Oh, forcing boys in the chat. Uh, that's actually the forcing WTF uh, um, email. I, I really like it. Uh, let's see, so you can see the engagements here. So this is a lot. This is unusually large for like my account that just hardly gets any of this shit. I'm usually averaging 200 impressions. Uh... Yeah, I mean, this is just an indicator that, you know, the Democrats and liberals really own the video game and entertainment space. Like, why can't conservatives be doing these kinds of numbers, you know? So, uh, we, we got to step up our game here. I'm going to win sooner rather than later. Uh, okay, so, oh, man. Out to the American people as commissioner of food and drugs, but that part of me has not left. Just look at the way the American people have responded to our calls for mitigation, for social distancing. The American people have great that is true. resiliency, and I am so incredibly proud of how the American people have responded. As the president mentioned, he asked us to be aggressive, to break down barriers to innovation, and to accelerate the development of life-saving treatments. And we're doing that at the FDA. The FDA is committed to continuing to provide regulatory flexibility and guidance but let me make one thing clear. Why isn't this being FDA's updated? FDA's responsibility to the American people is to ensure that products are safe and effective. And yet we are continuing to do that. Our folks and their tremendous professionals are working day and night to do this. 
You just can't even, can't even imagine how much they're working to, to provide the support. I wonder if people, and I thank them. This is actually Since helping. Early January, long before the first domestic case, FDA began working in collaboration with CDC. I also want to note that we stood up an incident command group um, and have been focused on the coronavirus since the very beginning of this public health emergency. This is, in addition, an all of government and all America approach, and I'll describe what I mean by that. I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going I'm I'm to buy a Remmel. An important 1750. part of that work is expanding the potential therapeutic options associated with coronavirus. You only live once, right? We've learned from our colleagues across the globe about this. But I, I want to focus on one thing. I, I was a cancer researcher before all this, and um, one thing I know about this great country of ours is that we have unbelievable innovators. We have people who every day, it's their job to develop treatments for all sorts of diseases. We are incredibly blessed as a country to have this. And as is true in any illness, these great American innovators, academia, private sector, they have engaged us about the best possible treatment options. We are looking at everything that's coming across our desks as possible treatment options for coronavirus. And we're extremely encouraged by the interest and the promise that we've seen from these great American innovators. Now again, we need to look at it. We need the data. We need the information to make the absolute best decisions for the American people. But I want to assure you, we have over 17,000 people at FDA who are doing this every day. We need, we need to make sure that these, uh, the sea of new treatments will get the right drug to the right patient at the right dosage at the right time. As an example, we may have the right drug, but it may not be in the appropriate dosage form right now, and that may do more harm than good. Those are the things that that's our job to look at, and that's why it's really important we have these dedicated professionals looking at these aspects of therapeutic development. At the same time, we're also working through different mechanisms to actually get drugs into the hands of providers and patients. The President mentioned this, but one of the mechanisms is called compassionate use. Let me just tell you about this. <coughs> if there's an experimental drug that's potentially available, a doctor could ask for that drug to be used in a patient. We have criteria for that and very speedy approval for that. The important thing about compassionate use, and that's what the President meant, this is even beyond right to try, is that we get to collect the information about that. Because one of the things... I decided to cough out some phlegm, so I muted my mic. ...collect the data and then make the absolute right decisions uh, based upon those data about the safety and efficacy of the treatments. We are working... At okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of, uh, oh, Subscribestar also, uh, I suspect he was banned by Twitch, because he's got, uh, Subscribestar following him, too. <laughs> and, of course, Subscribestar also follows me back. Yeah, so, and now you see the whole, this whole, everything that is wrong with this world is now unfolding, and people are finally waking up to the truth. Not everybody, but enough people. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, uh I'm gonna cut this short, because I actually do want to watch it. Um, but I have deposited two grand into my account and I'm going to be buying, uh, wait, are we on the, yeah, I'm going to be gambling, uh, one last time, uh, and buying this for, uh, shit, the shit's already skyrocketing, so by the time I get it, I'll probably be 250, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buying, uh, I'm going to be buying, uh, let's see, Cephal, Moral, I mean, these things have already been, I don't know, we'll have to see, announces coupon payments, expected four months ago, yeah, so, now I, I go from one evil globalist bank to another bank. So you know what? Since UBS fucked me, I think when I open up a second account, it's going to be like Credit Suzy. Uh, also, I used to like buying gold bars, or at least liked it. So Credit Suzy always made gold bars. I don't think UBS does gold. So maybe that's another reason why. All right. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page. And let's try to get this channel to uh, continue growing. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, all right, so I actually need to go. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm buying up Rimmel as fast as I can, because basically I've now lost another 100% by not gambling sooner. Uh, but I mean, that's gambling. So as long as I can just get it for like a couple bucks and then skyrockets, then, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Otherwise, I'm out 2000 bucks, and then I'll get some kind of redemption period. Uh, I guess I'm basically saying that the bottom might be in. That's, the, that's another gamble that I'm taking. All right, and that's because we're actually above 
the losses from yesterday. I was expecting a dead cap out. That did not happen today. So that indicates to me that something is uh, something's up. So uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, Remmel, oh my God, this, this this thing is going crazy now. Uh, yeah, Yahoo can't even update the price properly. I am logged into my thing. Is uh, refresh? Yeah, it is now a dollar ninety five was the last price. It's up eighteen percent, up thirty cents. So as long as it goes up the five dollar mark, we'll, we'll be Tamaguchi here. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and always remember, Johnson Chen, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and to recap, uh, I don't know, do I want to buy crypto? I didn't even think about it. Right now, there's so much shit going on, but I may consider buying crypto as well. Uh, 36, oh, I, mean, I already bought at 38. I already have enough, man. So, you know what? I'm, I think I'm okay with crypto. I didn't even go over Steam, unfortunately, but, I mean, they're just doing a... Let's see, where is Steam? I shot up a, I shot up a ton in price. It's at position 43, it's going back down. So there's something crazy going on, but for now they're gonna do a hard fork, which you just got to see. I will not be buying Steam uh, because I wanna see what the effects of this hard fork are really gonna do. And then well, how does it affect my D-Lease stuff? Now the good news is D-Lease and all of them and block trades are all siding with the hard fork because we're trying to get away from Justin Sun. And I 100% support it. So then now I'll just have two income producing assets. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens with it. For now, I'm not doing anything with Steam. Uh, I may buy more Litecoin, but I mean I already have quite a bit of crypto uh, in my IRS designated account. So, uh, so yeah. But you know, oh now this is interesting. Uh, down. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, they open lower. Uh, I don't know. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm, it's a pure gamble. It's a pure gamble. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna do one, one. I'm gonna do one last gamble. If not, the you know I, I gotta learn my lesson and just wait for the bottom this time. All right, here's our thumbnail.